regardless if we all want to admit it or not, a lot of these Lua games looks like they are going to be here to stay. And really, one of the biggest problems is, is that, say, for example, Remote Lua Loader, most of us create that initial save and then never update it ever again. There is obviously a lot of important updates and features that you could have had. And in today's video, what I wanted to do was I wanted to take a look at updating a remote Lua loader save game with using Apollo save tool on a jailbroken PlayStation 4. Now again, you can use the Discord bots. And now this will also work if you are trying to use something like Auto Lua Lab. So once you learn how to do this, you can reuse this skill set over and over. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I am on a PlayStation 5 12.00 Beta 2 right now. And what we're going to do to begin with is we're going to go to Settings and then Save Data and Game App Settings. We're going to go to PlayStation 4. And right here, we're going to take the option to upload or delete from console storage. Now, what I typically like to do is to work backwards, meaning that on your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5, if you've already got a save game that's working that you want to update, I simply just come right in here to where it says copy to USB drive. I select my demo, in this case, Hamadashi Creative. Put a check mark in it and then click right here where it says copy. So at this point, it will copy an encrypted version to my USB drive, which is exactly what I want. Now, at this point, you can go ahead and unplug your USB drive and then insert it inside of a jailbroken PS4. Here, I have went ahead and jailbroke my PlayStation 4 9.00 with a Lua disk, and I am running the very latest and greatest beta. In order to work with any of the save games, you will need to have something called Apollo Save Tool installed on your PS4. So now let's go ahead and let's run Apollo Save Tool. Okay, from here, we're gonna go to USB Saves. Okay, we're gonna go down here and we're gonna select Copy Game Save to hard disk drive. And if you already have something there, you definitely want to select the option to overwrite. So I'm gonna select yes on that. Now, once that is complete, and we can see right there, it has been added. And we are now gonna go over here to HDD saves. And right here is the title ID for Hamadashi Creative. So I'm going to press X right here. And we're going to scroll down here and we are going to select the option to copy the save game to USB. So let's go ahead and select that. And again, I am going to pick USB zero here. Okay, so there are the files. They are in the PS4 directory slash Apollo. Okay, let's go ahead and take that out and bring it to our computer. If you connect up your USB drive, you'll see you have a PS4 folder and inside of it, it says Apollo. And then if we click into that, then you can see just right here, here is all of the files that is currently needed in order to run the save game exploit. Now, in order to update these with the very latest version, we're going to head over to the GitHub repo. If we look right here at the commits, we can see that there has been a ton of different changes since I originally created that save game file. And one of them, which was regarding IP addresses, where I suggested that they add the local IP address on the remote Lua loader screen. Now, this one was closed and implemented, so I want to go ahead and update my save game with the very latest version. So let's go right here to code, download zip. Now, inside of the zip file, what you'll find here is, is that there is a save data folder. And what we want to do is we want to take all of the files located in save data, and we want to simply copy those over the files that we extracted from our PlayStation 4. So right here is my PlayStation 4 export. 
And so I'm going to take all of these files and I'm going to drag and drop them right into here. And I am going to take the option to replace the files in the destination. Okay, let's go ahead and take out our USB drive, plug it into our PlayStation 4, and fire up Apollo Save Tool. Okay, so if we go back to Apollo Save Tool and go to USB Saves here, we can see right there we've got two of these. This one right here, which is encrypted because it has the little padlock, and then this one right here, which is not encrypted. Because this is the one we just added the brand new remote Lua loader files to. You can come to the original save file right here and go ahead and delete it, especially if you've already got a backup. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now just to get the encrypted version off of the USB drive, where it makes this just a little bit easier to manage. Okay, so right there is our unencrypted version. So we're going to select that. And we're going to take the option here to copy the save game to the hard disk drive. And right there, you can see it has been added to our save data. So now I'm going to go back over to our disk drive saves. Right there is Hamadashi Creative. So I'm going to press X. And from here, I'm going to select Apply Changes and Resign. And now it shows that that save game has been successfully modified. Now we can come right down here and go to hex edit save game files if you just want to take a look and just make sure that the Lua files are in here. Now at this point, we need to go ahead and close back out of Apollo save tool. And from here, we're going to go up to settings and we're going to scroll down and go to application save data management. We are going to select save data in the system storage and then copy the USB storage device. And we're going to scroll down here and it's going to be this one right here because I don't have that demo installed on this PS4. And then we're going to take the copy option here. Okay, so now once this finishes, this is your encrypted signed save game. If we just go right back into Apollo Save Tool, we'll just go right over here to USB Saves, and right there it is. It has the little padlock, which means we are ready to go. Okay, so let's go ahead and insert this in the PlayStation 5. In my instance, that's running 12.00 Beta 2. Okay, so we're going to go down to Save Data and Game App Settings, PlayStation 4, and then Copy or Delete from USB Drive. And right there is my save game file. So I'm going to select that and go Copy. And I am going to overwrite what is already on the hard disk drive. Okay, so it looks like that has been copied over now. And while we're here, we'll just go ahead and go over to System, System Software, and right there, you can see I'm on 12.00 beta 2. Okay, let's go ahead and launch the Lua game. And we should have our new updated remote Lua loader running on it. And there we can see that it is showing up because it does have that new IP address. All right, thank you so very much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Michael out.